Kalamazoo shooting rampage. For the first time, we are hearing from the man who brought the killing spree to an end. The deputy who spotted and arrested suspect Jason Dalton Saturday night. A man wanted for killing six people and wounding two others. 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks talked with that deputy this morning, and Leon joins us live in Kalamazoo. Leon. Susan, good afternoon. Nobody knows where this suspect might have been headed next, and the officer who affected the arrest on him says he said that we never had to find out. Um, I made it into work shortly after 9 o'clock. A 16-year uh, veteran law enforcement officer, up, Sergeant James ready, Harrison, isn't uh, boastful about his role in stopping a terrifying night in Kalamazoo. He says the area was crawling with officers, whom came in on their off day, try and catch a killer. I feel that my actions were just part of a team effort. Um, any one of the other officers could have spotted the same car. I've been there to back them up. Oddly, Sergeant Harrison had responded to a 911 call that he says turned out to be a prank when he was headed back through the downtown area. Aware of what police were on the lookout for, the he had his area. eyes peeled. And while stopped at a stoplight at uh, Maine in Michigan, I just happened to look over to my right, which is the up and under bar, and noticed a large group of patrons walking out of the store or out of the, out of the bar itself into the parking lot. And while watching them, I just happened to see a dark colored what appeared to be a Chevy HHR with a white male driving it coming through the parking lot. Immediately, Sergeant Harris jumped into action, calling for backup before attempting to pull the suspect over. He followed the suspect vehicle as he waited for help. We made a what we call a high, prior, a high risk or a felony stop on the car. After that, it was, he says, oddly um, routine. Compliant. Um, did whatever he was told. Out of his car with his hands up, police searched suspect Jason Dalton and discovered the first key piece of evidence on his person, a handgun in his front right pocket. The sergeant doesn't call himself a hero. His thoughts, he says, are with the victims and the satisfaction that perhaps he had some part in their healing. And hope that they can just find the peace to know that, you know, we've found the suspect and we have stopped him before he could hurt anybody else. And the sheriff's department here confirming that that compliance has continued. The suspect remains lodged here at Kalamazoo County Jail. The undersheriff telling us that he has been well behaved, though he is being kept in segregation because of the high profile nature of this case, a case that continues to move forward against him. Reporting outside the Kalamazoo County Sheriff's Department, Leon Hendricks, 24 Hour News 8.